How will you address the housing problem, the public in the district? Well, firstly, um, I've been fortunate to work in the borough of Cotonej and NDG for the last 10 years of my career. And uh, yes, with the clientele that I served, we see that there is a, a need to address poverty and access to services. However, the good news is, is that in Cote d'Inej, one of its advantages is the diversity that's here. We have communities that are dedicated to supporting its citizens and have customized and adapted services. For example, I'll use FAMAS as an example, an organization that is long seated in the borough who supported the newly arrived um, from the Philippines as well as the families that have been here with 60% of the Filipino community of Quebec in Cote d'Inej. Uh, it's with support of organizations like FAMAS that we're able to do effective work to help developing families find their place and to create a dream and a desirable future for themselves. The role that the borough can play or municipal government can play is to support organizations like FAMAS and like the Cote d'Inej Black Community Association, which I'm the director, to ensure that these families are informed are supported and obviously are given a chance to give the best opportunities for their children. In the long run, I think that uh, Cote d'Inej has so much to offer in terms of its, its, its dynamic facets. If you look at Cote d'Inej, particularly the district that I'm running in, you have a university city. So we have colleges and universities with HRC and Université de Montréal. So we have students that are in the district that are either from Montreal or arriving, I had the opportunity to visit the Fab Lab um, there. And it was, it's a project that it incorporates students and the community to work there. But the interesting part of that meeting was that the, the administrator told me 27% of the students enrolled for this semester are from another country. So we have this constant influx of innovation and diversity into Cote d'Inej. And that's really our best advantage. If we're able to support the development of these students who are going to be our newly developed professionals and, uh, and we can be able to say, well, how about you extend your stay and become a part of the Cote d'Inej fabric? We're not only going to help the district develop economically, but also continue this influx of ideas and a richness of diversity in the area. Another important thing about Cote d'Inej that I love is it's major arteries with all the developing businesses. Entrepreneurship is a very important facet of the development of, the, of, of our economy here in Quebec, and it's a viable option. So when you mix a, a neighborhood like Cote d'Inej, where you have, again, a large ticket of diversity and an opportunity to start a business and grow a business, uh, that's where you can really see change in the lives of people. And the borough can obviously support to ensure that these new businesses have visibility and make sure that uh, we're able to give a, a starting space for people who want to start a business. Uh, tourism is a factor here. We have the oratory that is in my district where thousands and thousands of people come uh, to Montreal. And of course, they're exploring our neighborhood. They're exploring Cote d'Inej. Uh, a wonderful project we've seen is the Placette, which is um, right on Cote d'Inej and Queen Mary, where the restaurants that are there had an opportunity to put an outside terrace which has been an attraction for the visitors. So is it possible that Cote d'Inej can become the new uh, Plateau Montréal? I think so. It seems like a, a viable, tangible thing. And the last thing, of course, um, that I'd like to address is our seniors. So we've had seniors in Cote d'Inej who have contributed to this neighborhood for many, many years and are now retiring or, re or are in retirement. And one of the main uh, things that the borough can support is obviously their access. Um, seniors who want to be able to use the parks and find things that are available to them. What are the services around? And of course, just general mobilization in the borough is an important facet of our, our platform. So altogether, Cote d'Inej has uh, not only, it's not only dynamic, it's uh, full of potential. And it's one of the only places in Montreal where you can eat anything you want at any time of day, which is one of the reasons why I particularly like living here or working here. My name is Tiffany Callender, and I'm running as a candidate for city councillor with Team Equipe Coder in Cote d'Inej and NDG. I'd like to say to the constituents of my writing that I, as a community worker by trade, can only approach politics in a particular way. It's by being close to you. It's important that I know your needs, the things that you would like to address, 
and we can build together a common vision so that we can ensure that Cote d'Ange is not only a place to be proud of, but it's a place where we will build together. So I hope to see you all on November 5th, and I'll see you soon as I start my walk around the neighborhood. I have an objective to meet 5,000 people, and those 5,000 people are you. Thank you. See you soon.